For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers named Mark Lawrence. And the question goes like this. Find the exact value of 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus until infinity. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so our goal is to find the exact value of this expression 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus until infinity. So to answer this question, let's name this expression as a variable. Let's call this as n. Now notice that this expression right here is similar or the same thing as this expression on the denominator like this and also the same as this expression same as this expression and so on and so forth now to make this simple let's focus on this expression 1 plus 1 over this whole expression inside our rectangle now this expression inside of our rectangle must be equal to just what we call n so we can replace this as n. Therefore, we can say that 1 over 1 plus n must be equal to just n. Now, our goal is to solve for the value of n. So to do that, let's multiply both sides by 1 plus n. If we do that, we get 1 equals n multiplied by 1 plus n. Now, let's distribute this n. So we have n plus n squared. Now, to solve this equation, let's equate this to 0 and rearrange some terms a little bit. So, we have 0 equals n squared plus n minus 1. This is a quadratic equation. So, to solve for the value of n, let's use the quadratic formula. We have n equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, given this quadratic equation, the value of a must be the numerical coefficient of n squared, which is equal to 1. So, a equals 1. b is the numerical coefficient of the variable n, which is equal to, again, 1. And c is the constant term in this quadratic equation, which is equal to negative 1. Now, since we have the value of a, b, and c, we are now ready to solve for the value of n. Now, let's replace all a with its value, 1. And then, let's replace all b with, again, its value, 1. And let's replace all c with its value, negative 1. Now, let's simplify. 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, so 1 plus 4 will give us 5. So n must be equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 all over 2. So we have two possible values for n. Now going back to our expression, 1 over 1 plus, 1 over 1 plus, 1 over 1 plus, and so on and so forth, this expression right here on the left side cannot be equal to a negative number. Therefore, we can disregard the negative value of n. Thus, we can say that n must be equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And that is our answer to this question. So the value of this expression 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus until infinity and the value of this expression must be equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And as always, we are done.